Oh, this is fantastic to see. I love seeing Collis running like this, and uh, it's going to be a, a brilliant national title uh, when he crosses the line here to win this race. Great work by Ben too. Ben, Ben's looking great. Great finish. Collis is just too good. Yeah, dominating performance there from Collis Birmingham to take his second national title over 5,000 metres. St Lawrence across the line there in second, and Brenton Rowe, he's going to grab uh, third place there. But we've got the new national champion of the men's 5,000 metres, Collis Birmingham, and Collis, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd just like to say I've been stitched up. I'm definitely taller than you two blokes. <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself well, on the TV screen. There's a good foot there. Yeah, we've got a little uh, <laughs> little uh, blowout there from uh, earlier on in the day, but uh, yeah, it makes us feel good. For anyone that's been following the Australian Athletics to a live stream, we've been trying to be trying to get this bloke on the tartan couch all summer, and we've finally got him here. And mate, uh, you're in some ominous form. You've come off World Indoor Champs, top ten finish there, uh, on fire, and it's great to see you tearing up the tracks back here in Australia as well. Uh, yeah, thanks. I've been going, been going pretty good. Uh, I thought I'd save the tartan couch until I won, <laughs> won a race and yep. deserved to be on it. Um, I was, all the talk about it, I thought I'd better wait until I put out a good performance. But and no, you, things are going well. Happy with the win and happy to be going to... You're out in front there for you know the back end of the race there. Um, you know, I guess that makes it tough when you're in that position. Not as tough as uh, the guys that led the first half. I mean, that's kind of championship racing where... It's uh, all about leading the last part of the race and leading across the line. So we sat in there, it was a windy day, and just thought I'd say it was a pre-race plan to go go when I did, and it worked out well. What about, uh, have you had a chance to get home to Ballarat, mate, to uh, work <laughs> on the project? Trying try to make myself a bit taller, there we go. <laughs> I can do this if you like. Yeah. Um, I've been in Ballarat all, all summer, apart from my trip up to Falls and uh, trip away to Poland. Um, Running in Ballarat, it's good, good fun. I'm enjoying being back home, and you know we've got a good group, good group down there. People come and go. That's kind of the basis behind it. It's more just a, a place for all distance runners to come and meet. Um, you don't have to move there. You don't have to live there. It's just good training. It's kind of like Falls Creek, but it, we're trying to make it happen a bit more. And how's the lake looking, mate? I've seen it there dry before. Someone told me it's a, a great lake, and it was dry. Yeah, well, there's a fire on in the middle of the lake once. <laughs> um, but it's well and truly full now. It looks, uh, looks brilliant. Well, Clyde, Clyde is one of your biggest uh, fans, and it's great that you've had, had the opportunity to meet him. Clyde's the official mascot of the 2014 Commonwealth Games, so uh, you'll be seeing a bit of him when you get over there. But, mate, thanks for spending time finally on the yeah, Titan couch. It won't be your last, and well done, and we'll see you so on the road to Glasgow. To heading over? That's the plan, mate. Okay. That's the plan. Well, you need some support, dude. You're trying to get some followers. Syndrome. That's right. Oh, hopefully everyone gets behind us. Thanks, mate. Collis Birmingham <laughs> legend. Collis Birmingham. T tell Collis Clyde wants to go to Ballarat for a uh, look at the project. Just a quick one from Benito.